Hey guys, so we've been getting a lot of requests about how to pick out your very first skateboard at a skate shop. So it was perfect that Google reached out to us to highlight our favorite local skate shop. So come with me as we go to Orbit Skate Shop and we're going to go through all of the products, every wheel, every board, every truck. We're going to help you navigate the products and show you how to pick out your very first or your second or maybe your five millionth skateboard. Let's go. All right, guys, so here we are in front of Orbit Skate Shop. We're super excited to work with these guys. They're one of our very favorite local businesses. They've been in business since 1995, and they have a really cool program where kids can bring in their report card, and if they have good enough grades, they can get free wheels, free trucks, and even a free skateboard deck. So a huge thanks to Google for sponsoring this video to help us highlight our favorite local skate shop in the area because these guys really help push skateboarding out into this community and we think it's really rad what they're doing with all the kids in the area. So let's go inside and set up a deck. All right guys, so we're here at Orbit Skateboard Shop. They have literally every single board you could ever think of, shoes, wheels, trucks, bearings, and everything. And I can imagine when you come in here, it might be kind of like overwhelming. Like they have everything. What are we gonna choose, right? So I'm gonna tell you how I choose my own skateboard and hopefully that gives you guys some ideas of how you can like figure out what to choose, what to pick. Starting out with the board. The main thing to look at on your board is the width. Usually on the top, it will say how wide it is. So for this one, it has the sticker right here and it says eight. 0. I personally ride an 8.0 and my shoe size is a size 10. The width of the board is actually just a personal preference. I used to skate a 775 and then I moved up to an 8 just to get a little bit more width. The number one question that I am asked is, uh, I have size 6 shoes, what size board should I ride? And there's no like set answer. It's not like, oh you got size 6 shoes, well you need a 7.5. Or oh you have size 12 shoes, you need a 8.25. So as you can see on these boards, they, they are labeled. So this one right here, it says 8.25. So this is 0.25 inches wider than this one. And I'll show you that just so you can see the difference. It's like, it's actually barely a difference at all. But when you set that up and you skate that thing, that 0.25 inches is, is gonna make a big difference. So for example, if you were having a hard time spinning your kickflips, getting that board to rotate, you might want to go to a thinner board because a thinner board will flip fast. Or maybe you're flipping it too fast. Or maybe your, your board is not wide enough and you need some more surface area. If you're going to be skating a lot of stairs or a lot of big things, I definitely would say go to a bigger board. Um, other than the, the width, which is the most important thing, I feel like once you find a width that you really like, you're probably going to stick with that either forever or for a while. But other than the width, I always look at the shape. So I personally like a nice big nose. It makes it easier to do no slide tricks, tray flip reverts, the nice wide nose. And for some reason, the shape that seems to work the best on the tail, I have no idea why, but it's sort of like a little bit of a pointy tail and then it kind of like chops off at the edge. Here, this sticker, this means this is the tail, and there's this little um, indentation up there, which means that that's the nose. Some of them can be kind of hard to figure out which one is the nose and tail, but usually that's how you go about it, the sticker on the bottom. You might look at all of these and say, they're all kind of like that. But if you actually really, really look at them and pay very close attention, they're all a little bit different. The other thing to look at on the board is the, the concave. So the concave is this, this up lip right here that just bounces up. You can see it goes like that. So that's the concave. Some people like a deeper concave, which means in the middle of the board, this is coming down and these lips are going up steeper. 
Again, that can make the board flip faster. And some people like a flatter concave. Again, that's just gonna come back to your personal preference. So that's pretty much it on the board. Next up, we have the grip tape. I think that the grip tape is one of the most important things to choose because it's how grippy your board is. If your board is not grippy and your feet are sliding off, well, you're not gonna be able to do tricks. If your board is really grippy and your feet are sticking to it really well, well, you're going to be able to do tricks. I personally like the grippiest, stickiest grip tape there could be. So this right here is Am Grip. It is very, very, very sticky. Um, some people don't like it as sticky as I like it. Um, Gabe Cruz is a good example of this. When he puts his grip tape on, he cuts it, he takes the additional pieces off the sides, and he sands it down. And then I get on his board and I'm slipping off everywhere. But on my board, I'm like stuck to it like glue. So I leave my grip tape just pristine. It's super, super sticky and it's super, super coarse. So you can, you can have them grab the different kinds of grip tape and you can feel them. And you can see how coarse they are. Some are more smooth, some are more coarse. This is going to ruin your shoes faster, but welcome to skateboarding. You're definitely going to be going through shoes. Good, the next thing is the wheels. On the wheels, the main thing that you're gonna be looking at here is the size. Right here, you can see right in that logo, it says 54. That means they're 54 millimeters. 54 millimeters this way. If they were 52s, it would be a little bit smaller. If they were 60s, they would be a little bit bigger. So if you were to go too big on those wheels, you're going to get what's called wheel bite. That means when you're turning on your truck, your wheel is right here and it actually hits the board. It makes the wheel stop and you're going to fall. So you don't wanna get wheels that are too big. If you have wheels that are too small, you're gonna be rolling and you're gonna hit every single rock and you're going to fall and that's not gonna work out either. So you're gonna to wanna to have a nice good balance between that, not too big, not too small. I usually skate a 52 millimeter, but you'll see today I'm setting up these 54s. So the other thing on the wheels is that there are different widths, sizes, hardnesses. So these wheels are, I don't know actually the, the hardness of these, but I would be willing to bet they are 99A. 99A is pretty hard. That means your wheel is going to slide well. These are 78A. It's a bit of a weird system. The lower the number, the softer the wheel. The higher the number, the more hard the wheel is. So this 78A is a very soft wheel. So it is not going to slide as much as this one is. So if you're gonna be doing revert tricks or you're going to do tricks where your wheels are sliding on the ground, you're going to want a harder wheel. But if you're going to cruise from your house to your school, you're going to want a soft wheel. There's all different shapes or sizes of wheels, but if you're going to be doing tricks, you're going to want the harder, the standard, the regular wheel, just like this. Now these wheels do come in various different widths, sizes, shapes. Some wheels are flatter there and they claim to lock in better to ledges and various things like that. Um, it probably does more or less work, but I think any regular wheel like this is gonna do you just fine. You're gonna learn how to skate on that. You'll be all good. Just like the wheels, the trucks come in various shapes, sizes, colors, companies, graphics, pretty much anything you can think of. And again, the color is just, that's gonna be your preference. The most important thing on the trucks is that you want them to fit the width of your board. You don't want them to be sticking out, right? So if this was sticking out further and you landed primo, it's gonna be not good. You want it to be even like that. So if you land like that, it's the same distance, the same as the board. So this, what I'm riding today, they are independents. These are nice trucks. They turn very, very, very well. Yeah, they're just a good all-around truck. They're super tough. You can, uh, you can beat the crap out of these and they'll, they'll be good to go. Another thing to know about the trucks is that some of them are higher than others. See, these are like really close to the deck. These ones are higher up. So again, that's, that comes to a personal preference point. Let's say you really like these trucks, but you need them to be higher. You can get a set of risers that go underneath there that will rise them up. That, that will help you on that. 
different brands on the trucks have different sizes, so just do your research. Um, you don't want a set that's like super overly heavy, but you don't want to go so light that they're gonna break either. So just get your nice pair of independence or whatever truck is your personal preference. All right, so hardware is the thing that's going to attach your trucks to the board. And this is pretty much a bolt and a nut. It's very simple. There's not a lot to this. It's not gonna be like one type of hardware is gonna make you skate better than a different type of hardware. And the only difference that you're really gonna find on this is colors. And it's either going to be a Phillips head or an Allen key on the end of that. So whatever your preference is on that, just, just pick it out. So this just goes on the top through the grip tape and this holds on the trucks. Hardware's hardware. If it's holding on your trucks, then you're good. If it's not holding on your trucks, you definitely need better hardware. All right, so we're into the bearings. These are just simply the metal rings that go into your wheels, and this is what makes the wheels spin. So the important factor here is how well does it spin? You can get bearings all the way from reds, which are generally around 20 bucks or so, up to the Bones Swiss, which are about 40, up to this Bones Ceramic. These babies right here are $120. So you can see that these are like extremely fast. They're gonna last a long time. These are also extremely fast and will last a long time. And these are just like your industry standard, the, the lowest grade. And it's not that these are bad. Uh, a lot of us ride reds and we will ride reds because we're just gonna roll in, we're gonna get whatever bearings we're gonna get. But if I'm definitely skating a spot that requires a lot of speed, it's gonna be very, very, very helpful to have a good set of bearings. So today I'm rocking the Neil Ceramics. So these are Neil bearings and these are the Blackouts. These are really sick bearings, they're really good. They roll nice and smooth, they roll really well, and they last a long time. So if you guys are not down to spend the full $120, you're good to go with Swiss. You're also good to go with the Reds, you know? It's all good. We have a whole separate video on how to care for and clean your bearings, so you can check that out. But for the purpose of just knowing what to buy, we've covered it here today. So once you've got all this stuff, you're gonna need a tool to put it all together or you get the guy at the skate shop to just put it together for you. Either way you wanna roll, support your local business and do that thing. So the tool basically just has these different parts. Each part of the truck fits into this somewhere, somehow, so you can put it all together. So now I'm gonna take this tool, I'm gonna to set up my complete, and then we're gonna go skate. All right guys, so we're here with James, and he's worked at this skate shop, Orbit, for? About four and a half, five years now. Four and a half, five years. So why do you think, mm -hmm. we're, we're trying to get these guys to find their local skate shop, support mm -hmm. their local skate shop, wherever you live, if that's Switzerland or Denmark, whatever it is, so support your local so, shop. So well, why do you think it's important to support the local shop? So supporting a local shop, it's been the bread and butter, kind of been like the, the staple of the skateboard industry for a long, for, you know, since day one. Right. Um, 
So it really supports the whole community. Exactly. Um, that you, you can still get that instant gratification that you would normally expect from ordering online. Yeah. What you don't get on the, when you order online, though, is customer service. Um, our shop in particular, we love to haggle. Um, we actually have a DOA program as well. Where, DOA, what does that mean? So dead or alive. So you can turn in your old boards, old uh, bearings, old wheels, even if it's like completely whooped. We'll do $5 off like a new deck. Wow, hold on. So dead or alive. So yeah. these are all boards that your local skaters in your area brought in. Mm -hmm. And they were like, here's my old board. And you take a look at this and you go, okay, I'll give you $5 off a new deck. You, yeah, you pick whatever you want off the wall. Basically anything besides like our cheap, cheap Orbit sale decks, which yeah. we have for $15. Wow. Um, we got these. Yeah, pick anything you want. We'll do $5 off. And then what do you do with these? These... If it's completely snapped, I donated it to Dumpster Gods. Um, but other than that, we typically put put together completes. We'll donate them like at our events, um, sell them for five bucks. Just whatever whatever works for them. Wow. What I think is so cool is that you guys keep the skateboard community alive. I mean, I see you're promoting this contest that you got yeah, going on. Very excited about, too. And if you guys anywhere local to the East Bay, um, June 16th, we're going to be doing it. at our it's The first time we're doing it in an indoor skate park. Last time we did it, we did Town Park, which, by the way, if you haven't heard of Town Park, super awesome. Levi's helped kind of revitalize the thing. Um, shout out K-Dub. So yeah, it's like without that local skate shop, it's like a whole experience. The community comes in. I mean, since we've been in here, we've had like a thousand kids running Which, through going, where's the board? Get my board! <laughs> and all these kids are getting their first skateboards, which yeah. I think is just so cool because that's what we need. We need more people going into the skate shop, getting their first board, and um, having somebody set it up for them. And that's one of my favorite things is like having like a, you know, a grandma or a grandpa who brings in like a big five complete or something. And they're like, what can I do to make this better? I'm like, tell you what, give me that. We'll give you $20 off. We'll build you a whole new one. There's nothing on there that like in particular that will fix that and make it better. Right. So we'll hook you up with something that's like going to be in this, you know, I'll keep it easy on your all on the wallet and everything. But yeah. at least your kid, when he pushes, he can actually roll for longer than 20 feet. Yeah, it's it's incredible. Most skate shops, you're not going to go in and haggle. But if you want to come in and haggle with this guy, uh, he, he's ready for it. Hey, he's ready for uh, you. Anytime. I told him I want the full complete for a dollar, <laughs> and he and he wouldn't budge. But that's a little that yeah, that's a little pushing it. But <laughs> say, say we're at like 165 for the complete plus tax comes out to like 178. We'll just call it 170, out the door. Boom! And, you, and we have the fridge right by the door. Typically, I'll, you know... Give the, the free house, drinks whatever, out. Whatever yeah, drink there you, you go. Want, go for it, grab one. That's yeah. what it's stocked for. And like we said earlier, it's cool. They have this program where kids can bring in their report cards. Yes, so this would be the shot right here. Um, so we do have a GPA program, which I'm super stoked on because that's one thing that I've always kind of promoted is... I could have like been getting into a lot of dumb stuff and getting into a lot of trouble as a youth, like when I was young. But I had skateboarding to keep me like kind of away from all that. Right. Um, Being able to go to the skate park, you you know your your parents know where you are. Just like the building of like friendships and like the whole community itself is like with skateboarding. Right. Is so much more open and welcoming than like say a team sport or like right like that kind of thing. It's like yeah. it doesn't matter what it is. If you're a skater, you're a skater. Right. It doesn't matter where you come from. Doesn't matter your background. Yeah. You're you're riding this board you're doing tricks you're having fun that's the thing yeah. like so the whole point of this is for us to build that community make it bigger and the skate shops are a vital important piece of that puzzle yeah. so please guys support your local skate shop just get in there get your board learn to skate and uh, a huge thanks to orbit skate shop for letting us come in here and do our thing thank you guys for coming through yeah we more appreciate than, more it more than a pleasure you guys are more than welcome to stop there anytime <laughs> um, we're here at east 14th and uh 152nd in san leandro super easy to get off at the 580 freeway we'll put know, the full address in the description below a huge thanks to google for sponsoring this video in celebration of small business week small business week is the week where we honor small businesses so i'm really really stoked to work with google and youtube to be a part of this program youtube for me has made literally all the difference i wanted to teach kids how to skateboard and they gave me a platform to reach millions and millions and millions of kids so i'm really 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 happy to be a part of the platform that reaches so many people all over the world for a small business to be able to reach people on the other side of the planet, 
I think is really, really, really incredible. And it has made all the difference for us at Braille Skateboarding. For me to be able to put my personality out there, get to know you guys, has just been incredible. So again, thanks to Google for helping to put small businesses on the map of the world scale. Please help us support small businesses during Small Business Week and actually during every single week because small businesses are very important. You guys can show your appreciation by sharing this video and using the hashtag small thanks and leave a review on your favorite small businesses. Google my business listing. Click on this playlist right here for all the videos in this series. Click here to get skateboarding made simple. It's the most comprehensive lesson plan ever made and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. Go to BrailleSkateboarding.com. You won't be disappointed.